All right, boys and girls. So the official update is out. Uh, 10.13.4 now has official eGPU support for external graphics cards with Thunderbolt 3 connections. Now, what is supported and what not? Basically, every MacBook Pro beginning from 2016, uh, 2017 model, of course, uh, iMacs also from 2017 and the iMac Pro. That's it. Official support with Thunderbolt 2 machines are not there and will not be. Maybe at some point uh, somebody will hack that. Um, it worked before, but now it's gone. You will not be able to connect any eGPU with all the machines. Uh, so yeah, cards supported now. Official only Radeon cards. Uh, so guys with uh, Nvidia cards like this one, I will talk about it in a minute, uh, have no luck at the moment. Um, I have a list here. It's basically just a small batch of cards that are official supported. It's the Radeon RX 570, the 580, which I'm using right now in the box. I have an RX 560 on the way and will test this out. This is the version with uh, 1024 um, Steam engine units. I will try that if that actually works and uh, yeah, we will see. So, uh, and there's uh, the Radeon Pro WX7100. Then there is the RX Vega 56. And then 64 as well. And then there's the Radeon Pro WX9100. So that's basically it. Um, other cards might work in terms of Radeon cards but uh, will not show up correctly and might have connection issues. So uh, I will test, like I said, the RX 560. Um, there's also the two uh, Sonnet uh, all in one box that is also powered by the 570. And I think they recommend this box. The support of applications. Now um, they state everything that is OpenCL, OpenGL and Metal 2 uh, will have benefits by this external card and um, basically comes down to the application itself. In my experience, I did run all the betas. The OS, the macOS works really smooth. Uh, connecting and reconnecting and stuff like that works really well now you don't have to worry about and um, you don't have to log out and stuff like that so this works really smooth and well overall with my setup here with two uh, external and uh, big displays works really well i did not see anything that's um, missing now it's it's smooth but then it comes down to the application itself so now about final cut 10 well it still runs like before pretty smooth, uh, playback performance is pretty good with a setup like this, with extra two screens, um, pretty good. Um, still no render or export performance boost. It still uses the internal card for all the exporting. So everybody hopes for the update that might come at NAB that uh, will fix this issue. But overall, it's fine. Um, other applications, um, in DaVinci Resolve. In the normal free version, it's a bit tricky. Um, you can't really select which card is used. I don't have the non-studio version, so I don't have the free version right now, so I can't really check. So maybe one that has an eGPU uh, unit and has the free version of Resolve. Let me know in the comments um, how that works for you, what, what card is used. I think the eGPU, um, but we will see. In the studio version, I can select both cards actually, the internal and the external and switch it out or deactivate or just one card uh, will be used, whatever. So this works good. There might be an update as well. Usually Resolve is updated at NAB. We will see how that goes. Uh, other applications in Lightroom, um, yeah, it uses the external graphics card. It can be actually selected, but yeah, nothing really fancy is going on there. 
In Photoshop, you can't really change the card even um, with the application running uh, on one of the uh, main screens that is connected to the eGPU. It still uses only the internal graphics card. Yeah, Premiere, well, tricky. Uh, OpenCL, uh, not really, doesn't really work as soon as you uh, will want to try the external uh, video preview on the external screen. Basically, the application does crash depending on what uh, footage uh, doesn't really work. And Metal is pretty slow. Even 1080p has to be played back at half resolution depending on what codec and what hard drive, but overall performance seems a bit smoother, but nothing really changed. So uh, Adobe has to work on the Metal support uh, or OpenCL. So basically nothing really to write home about. So uh, I wouldn't say the eGPU performance is good with Adobe Premiere. After Effects, same thing, nothing really fancy. Um, you really need NVIDIA cards for and CUDA for the uh, Premiere applications, so we will see. Yeah, so this is basically it. This is the state of the eGPU before NAB. This is uh, the first week of April. Uh, it's smoother, it's stable, better support, better integrated into the macOS system but still depending on the application itself, if it supports each GPU. A few things are still the same as before and are actually in a support document. I have a link on the Apple site. Uh, it's now officially announced what to do. You have to select the main screen uh, for one of the screens that is connected to the eGPU and that tells the Mac OS and in the end the application itself that it should use the eGPU but then again it depends on the application itself if it supports eGPU in uh, full extent so yeah anyways so in terms of Nvidia this is an Nvidia card my trusted uh, GTX 960 4 gigs that I have in my Mac Pro in a cheese crater Mac Pro that is actually a flashed card, so it is um, a full Mac card. So right now there's no script, no hack, no workaround to get any NVIDIA card uh, running in a external graphics card box uh, with 10.13.4. So if you have an NVIDIA card, don't update to the latest OS. So I think people are working on a solution, but that might take a while. Yeah, so basically that's it. Full support now, officially supported. Uh, not those cards. You have to go with an RX 580, I'd say, I think, for the or Vega, but prices are pretty bad for graphics cards. Um, I will make an update video about the RX 560, if it works, a quick one. And if there is a Final Cut 10 update at NAB, fingers crossed, um, I will make a um, Plus X test to see if you need an RX 580 for Final Cut 10 for any big improvements or if an RX 560 might be enough for the stuff for normal 4K and stuff like that. Because uh, price is pretty bad still. All right, that's it for now. I will have more updates as soon as the RX 560 is there and as soon as uh, Final Cut 10 gets an update, we will see. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about Final Cut 10 or eGPU, which uh, stuff I should test or whatever. Um, until then, maybe more a7R 3 updates or tests or videos, we will see. I will have a minimal kit overview uh, coming up um, soon, I think. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the new subscribers. Means a lot. See you in the next one. Cheers. Uh, fist bump.
long video. And I didn't record, right? Oh, uh, back to work. Uh, yeah, yeah.